Now, one of the many reasons we love our jobs is we get to let our viewers know when there are new and exciting medical treatments available. Well, if you have high cholesterol, this one is for you. Well, despite the availability of current LDL cholesterol-lowering therapies and efforts to promote a healthy lifestyle and diet, LDL cholesterol levels remain high for millions of people in the U.S. If you or someone you love has high cholesterol, you need to hear about the new Praluent injection. Joining us this morning are Dr. Harold Bays and Peggy O'Connor, a patient living with high LDL cholesterol. I want to thank you both for joining me this morning. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. So, Doctor, let's start with you. Can you tell us what this new Praluent injection is and how it differs from other treatments on the market today? Uh, Praluent is, a, uh, uh, is an FDA-approved uh, first member of a brand new class of cholesterol-lowering drugs. Uh, I've been involved in cholesterol uh, development for over two decades, and you know we have the statin therapy, which is the standard of care. Uh, but now we have this uh, Praluent, and its indicated use is, let's say, for example, you have a patient who has a, a genetic abnormality where their cholesterol levels are very high. We call that familial hypercholesterolemia. Or let's say you have a patient who's had a heart attack, and let's say in both cases they're on the maximally tolerated dose of statins that they can be on, but they're still not at their cholesterol goal. What options are, are available for them, uh, whether it be for the clinician or the patient? And what I would say is the clinical trial support that the use of this new FDA approved agent, this Praluent, when you add it to the maximally tolerated statin dose, it's able to further lower that, that cholesterol level and better able to get patients to their treatment goals. Amazing. So Peggy, you are a patient and you're living with LDL cholesterol. Can you tell us kind of your experience and maybe when you were first diagnosed? Sure. Uh, I was diagnosed a number of years ago with um, high bad LDL cholesterol, and in two th and I tried diet and exercise as lifestyle choices to to try and bring it under control, and was unable to. So in 2011, my doctor and I um, decided to start me on a statin, and um, in the results of that were I was still not to my goal for LDL bad cholesterol. And in 2012, I suffered a heart attack and was still not at the LDL goal that, that we wanted me to be at. And in 2013, my doctor gave me the opportunity to join the Proluent clinical trial. So Peggy. So the first six months was a study and then the past year and a half, I have been actually taking the medication and since then, my LDL bad cholesterol has been either at or below goal. And Peggy, it sounds like Praluent has really kind of saved your life. I mean, would you say that your cholesterol is being really managed by this new treatment? I would say that this medication has really helped me to reach my goal for my LDL bad cholesterol. Yes. Excellent. So, doctor, tell us, what are some things you'd like patients and even physicians to know about Praluent? I think the first thing that uh, clinicians should know, Heather, is that, um, again, this is the, the first FDA-approved agent of this uh, you know, brand new class of cholesterol-lowering drugs. Uh, the degree by which it lowers LDL cholesterol is, is, is robust. We haven't seen this degree of LDL cholesterol lowering uh, since, the, since, the, uh, the, since the statins. Uh, the other thing I would say is, uh, look, everybody likes to be educated. Everybody likes to know more about uh, what's going on. Uh, there's a website people can go to. It's called www.praluent.com. And at this website, uh, it can show patients, for example, this is an injectable. It's not a pill. You take, you take this injection once every two weeks. It'll give patients a little uh, visual experience about how it is that this drug is administered. It's got patient support services and a little bit more about the drug. So, so that information's available. And that, that might be a good place to start if people are wanting to get some information about this new agent. Excellent. Well, Doctor, I want to thank you for joining us. And Peggy, I want to thank you for sharing your personal story with our viewers this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back. <laughs>